Hello and welcome back. In this one, we want to start creating the POS screen. So basically, this screen right here. All right, so before we get into the code, I just want to show you how we're going to create this. So looking at this, we have our main box as always, which is going to be uh, the main uh, box for our widget. And then in this box, we have two boxes. So one, which is the one that contains this part and then the other one which contains our receipt all right and inside these two boxes we have a uh, vertical orientation with these widgets for this one and vertical orientation with these widgets for this one as well all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a new view for our pos and then uh add these boxes all right so i'm just going to uh, put this one back here and then uh, you can do this again the way I showed you how to create this auth screen but uh, I'm going to speed this up by uh, using my little script here all right so I'm just gonna CD into my views and I'm going to create that page and this one is going to be the POS screen all right so just gonna go back uh, clear that all right, so our POS screen now, we have these files, right? We have our POS class, which is here. So I'm just going to add that to my main.kv. So this is going to go up here. So we're just going to do import uh, POS from uh, views.pos.pos, like that. All right, and since we want to be able to see this, we are going to duplicate this call this screen POS all right and then uh, actually what I'm going to do is uh, I don't want to put it here all right what I'm gonna do is let's just remove this for now remember I said uh, the POS screen will appear uh, like this if you're a regular user but we're also going to have the same POS screen for an admin so instead of having uh, many different screens for that I'm just gonna put my POS screen into this home widget right and then when we create the admin panel we're just going to take the same POS widget and put it there all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our home uh, home.kv here and actually let's uh, we already have it there so let's go to our home.kv and in here Let's put that POS screen, POS, and just give it an ID of POS, like that. All right, and that's all we need to do. So now, if we run this app, uh, Python main.py, uh, size is equal to 1920 by 1080, that's the screen size. Ooh, uh, I have to go back, all right run this and I'm gonna drag it in again but you see this time we see uh, our sign-in screen and that is because in our main.kv the current screen is uh, the screen that's at the top so it's always going to be screen auth so what we can do is just push our screen home at the top like that now if we run this we should have a white background like that because we don't have anything in our POS screen all right, so let's start building out the POS screen. I'm just going to close the things that we don't need here. Uh, Home.kv now. All right, now let's go back to our POS. Let's open it up. All right, let's open these two up. Now let's go here. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and uh, view.py. Let's add a username so that we will be able to get it here all right so whoever is signed in its username will be up there okay so we will basically just do username is equal to and I'm just gonna do first Samuel you can put whatever you want doesn't matter and uh, I'm gonna do role so the role is are they an administrator or just a normal user all right so it's gonna be user by default and actually I think this could change so I'm just gonna do from kv.properties 
and we'll import a string property like that all right and now let's just wrap this in a string property so string property there and wrap this in a string property so that uh, we can get events when this changes all right so we have that that's all done now let's go back to our POS screen and let's uh, create those two main boxes that I was talking about which will be this box and that one all right so first orientation is not gonna be vertical well uh, box layout duplicate this and then uh, let's size these correctly so size hint X this is horizontal sizing so size in X basically is uh, how much uh, what percentage of the screens with this box layout should take so I will say it should take about 70 percent all right and then this other one should take 30 percent so 70 plus 30 makes it 100 percent all right so what I'm going to do is uh, change this from a box layout to a back box because it has a background all right so B color which is the background color and we're going to use up to it color did we say it's color alternate I believe alternate alternate hopefully that's the color that we want anyway let's run this and see what we get oh lovely that is uh, exactly the color that we want all right so full screen still takes 30 percent still takes seven zero all right lovely uh, let me just close out of that one actually before I close out of this uh, we now have to we're going to deal with this later so let's deal with this one first all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this up now we are at this widget right now looking at this widget we have this part like this is a uh, vertical orientation and I'm going to break it down again to two boxes the first one is going to be the top one which contains the logo and uh, the search box then the other one is going to be where this uh, table is all right so let's create those two boxes real quick so let's close out of this we don't need it for now uh, orientation vertical lovely spacing is DP boom, 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 boom. let's do 12 for now all right now let's add those uh, two boxes oh I think I closed out of that one anyway uh, box layout for the top one and uh, it has doesn't need orientation so the spacing again is gonna be 12 and then uh, let's just duplicate this and then uh, that spacing is cool again so what we're going to do is uh, mm, we don't need that so what we're going to do now is we basically need the icon as well as the text field all right so I'm gonna pull this up again all right so we need we are now at this box right so we need the logo as well as the text field all right well, let me put that over there and uh, uh, by the way what I'm talking about is, this, is uh, this box layout right so we have our logo and our text field so let's go ahead and add those really quickly uh, sorry about that all right so we have one box for our logo right and the size hint X of this box is going to be none the width of this box is going to be basically whatever the height of this box is all right and this will ensure that it's always going to be a square right and then now let's have another box box layout and this is going to be the box layout for the text input all right so I'm going to size this uh, the height of this box is going to be let's go with DP 64 all right and then in here let's add our image all right the source of this image is going to be the logo so assets images uh, logo light copy that paste it there that's it 
and then here we are now going to add uh, our box layout so actually I'm gonna make this an anchor layout all right and then I'm going to anchor this on the X and I want to anchor it to the right then I'm going to add a back box right and the B color is going to be app dot color secondary BG all right for our grayish color remember that all right and then I'm going to radius it a bit so self dot height times 0.1 and then in here we need two things right uh, I'm gonna pull this up we need an icon as well as our text field all right so for our icon we're just gonna use a simple text and the color is going to be uh, let's do oh we have color alternate so app to color uh, secondary text I believe that's what it's called all right and then this is important we want an icon for our text so the text is going to be let's go back to our main.kv we registered these icons as further icons all right so in our main.kv here we need to import those icons so we are going to import icon where are we getting it from well kv.garden dot icon fonts dot icon all right now in our pos screen we can now go ahead and do icon and what's the icon we want it's icon search where am i getting oh sorry search now where am i getting this well it's in uh, assets fonts further font d now if i do search and then uh, just search for search right you see we have that icon there all right so we're just gonna close that out and we have our icon set now uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to size this all right so size hint y for this is going to be 0 0.7 all right now I'm going to size this text fields uh, width and it's gonna be none and the width of this text field is going to be self dot height right and then finally we can add our flat field in there the hint underscore text of this flat field is going to be search by product name prog name or code all right that's it uh, let's go ahead and run this and see what we get all right I'm just gonna pull this in so this is what we have so far our icon our text field and our logo all right so this is where we're going to stop for this one in the next one we are going to uh, continue working with this to make it look like the design all right so if you have any questions regarding this part of the tutorial uh, be sure to leave them in the comment section below otherwise as always thanks for the subscriptions if you know if you haven't already please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one